In today's video, we're checking out this product right here. This is the Turtle Wax. This is a new line they have that I believe, or I found at Walmart, so I haven't seen it at my local AutoZone, so I kind of have a routine. Uh, I go by Walmart, AutoZone, O'Reilly's. I uh, haven't seen it at any of those other uh, places except for Walmart, and they have a couple different products in this streak-free mist line. This is with this misting sprayer. Let's see, I haven't even primed it yet, but it is a pole and release, and you get that elongated spray like that, which is cool, except for if you're in the wind outside. I will say with Pure Shine, which has the same bottle, uh, my wife was using it and she was pissed. She was like, it's windy. <laughs> but hey, that's because she's not a detail either. This is the Minute Wax. You can use this dry, wet, or as a rinse wax, which I think is very cool. So in this video, we're gonna try all of those. I uh, just wanted to give you kind of a look at the bottle. Up close here on the bottom, it talks about how it has slick polymers, intense shine, repels water and dirt, UV protection, and a tropical scent, which kind of smells like, um, like coconut sunscreen to me. Um, directions are pretty easy, shake well, use a sweeping motion to spray product directly onto the surface. So it does say, I will have to tell my wife this, in windy conditions, determine wind direction and spray product away from you in a sweeping motion to maximize coverage. You may also spray directly into a microfiber cloth, which she did not do, but I tried to give her the tip. All right, dry application. You can wash your vehicle, uh, rinse, uh, rinse thoroughly, and towel dry. Apply one to two sweeping sprays per panel, so that's dry. The wet application, you could wash your vehicle and rinse thoroughly, and then spray one panel at a time while the car is still wet, which side hack will help with water spots, which is um, kind of what I think these minute wax or wax as you dry things are the best for, is that you can minimize water spots, or you can use it as a rinse wax, um, wash your vehicle, rinse thoroughly, apply one to two sw sweeping sprays per panel, ensure an even, even coverage, apply and rinse minute wax one panel at a time, starting at the roof, use a strong stream of water to activate, watch the paint work, uh, <clears throat> watch the paint work start to dry itself, taking uh, care, to, what? watch the product start to dry itself, taking care to towel dry any residual drops. And then there's a turtle tip, which I think is cool. Use streak-free mist, slick shine detailer uh, to clean light, dirt, dust, and debris in between your normal maintenance washes, okay? And a QR code if you wanna scan that. So what we're gonna do, I actually have this panel. I just finished up a previous torture test. So we're gonna apply it to this in a couple different ways. I uh, actually need to prep this panel, but we're gonna apply it in all the ways that it talks about. Look at the water behavior. And uh, one really cool thing about these bottles is it makes it way easier to get the cap off. A lot of these caps, especially like on the Chemical Guys ones, are just a nightmare to get off if you want to empty it into a different bottle. So all that and more coming up in this video, but let's get to it. On this side of the panel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the wet application. So as you'll see, or the, oh, sorry, the rinse application. Figured I could do that first. So as we see the panel is completely flat so what you would do is you would wash your car um, maybe you know I think too that this product is also be used it doesn't say it but could also be used as a topper so you have no protection on your car a couple sweeping motions like that you can see that elongated spray it would be something like that you're working a panel at a time if you are going to do it in this method, I would suggest not doing it out in direct sunlight. Anytime you're spraying something like this and then rinsing it, you're gonna have to worry about streaking. Look at that. Beaded the water right up. Not the craziest water beading I've ever seen. We are talking about an $8, $9 product. Not the craziest, but if your panel's completely flat, it's actually missed a little more on, see if we can do any more. Actually, this is what we'll do. Kind of doing this real time, so figuring it out as I go. What I will do is, since it's like that, I think my favorite method, this would be my least favorite method to do it, how I just did it, where you're the car's uh, wet and then you're applying it as a drying aid or a rinse. My favorite way to do it would be this. Your car is wet now. You're using a garden hose like I just used. 
and you're trying to buy yourself some time. This is one of my favorite ways to use it. So you're trying to buy yourself some time. What I would do is if you're in direct sunlight especially, so two poles of the trigger is gonna get you a whole panel. You really don't need too much, but the car is wet, you're worried about water spots because it's summertime, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna mist it while your car is wet, and then you're gonna dry your car. Obviously, you might wanna dry it with more than one 16 by 16 towel, something like a dreadnought uh, by auto fiber would be ideal. But what you're gonna feel, or what I'm feeling, is slickness underneath the towel, not super slick because it's mixed in with all that water, but what it's going to do is it's going to buy you time to wash your, to dry your car. So you're going to get less water spots. It's a kind of like hack to not having deionized water. How about that? So kind of deionized water hack. So then if you rub it in, I'm assuming that you should get better water beating. which it kind of looks like you do, maybe not that much better. So in this instance, you may just spray it on and rinse it off. The water beating is not crazy, but I don't think that is the purpose of this product, but could be wrong in that. Um, tell you what, the water beating is a lot better than this product, which I've griped on for two videos now, so I don't want to beat a dead horse too much. But this 16 ounce bottle was 20 bucks and never beaded water up like that. So for nine bucks, we're already beating that. Um, and so we've tried the rinse method and the wet method. So as you can see, the water beading is about the same. So that's why I wanted to demo that. On this side, we're gonna apply it dry and then we're gonna give it 24 hours to cure and then see if the water behavior is any different to kind of see a good, better, best option. Uh, but I think there's other ways and other reasons why you would use it wet or dry. So let's go over to this side of the panel. I got to dry this all off and then apply it on this side of the panel and uh, yeah, give it 24 hours to cure and then we'll do a water behavior test and a torture test on everything. On the left side of the panel here, we are going to do a dry application of it. So dry application would be you're just using it as a quick detail spray. So you want to go around your car very quick. This is infused with ceramic, which I think is cool. So you may do one, we'll do two sprays, one in the towel. So as we do it on the dry side, the things I'm looking for are slickness, uh, any streaking. Um, does smell really good. So what I'm looking for are different attributes when I'm using it as a uh, dry application, which is super slick under the towel, super duper slick. Looks great, very, very slick like that. So this, how I would use it on the dry method is more of a detailer, a detail spray, um, which I think they talked about, they do have a slick shine quick detailer. So this is a way and hopefully, maybe we'll test out the detailer as well. Um, but this is a good way to, though it says minute wax, I would use it maybe as a detailer. But if you're looking and comparing like, you know, you're at Walmart and you're trying to figure out what to get. Um, even my hands are soft right, <laughs> right now, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we'll let this cure. It does not talk about a cure time at all. Um, it does not talk about if you could put it on top of a coating. Um, it does not talk about if it hinders a coating or not. Um, but yeah, so it just talks about being minutes away from an incredible durable shine. So protection. So for eight bucks, you know, we talked about this when it talked about the, when I talked about the glass cleaner, sometimes you can't give too much instructions when you're talking about a general consumer, someone who's picking this up, obviously with minute wax being the biggest font on this, my uh, guesstimation is someone that is going to be inclined to buy this is someone who literally wants to spend as least amount of time as possible on their car. So, so you can't have uh, a bunch of rules with something called a minute wax. I just don't think you can. You can't be like, hey, let it cure for 24 hours. Don't top it with a coating. You can't have all these stipulations and then call it minute wax with something that's super easy to use in three different ways. So that's my thought. I could be totally wrong and I'm open to that. So 24 hours of cure time on this, then we will come back and we will do a full water behavior test and torture test. What I'm interested to see is 
The panel is actually a little bit slicker too on the dry application. So probably go for that if you need that way, but there's again, other benefits to using it wet. Uh, so 24 hours of cure, we'll come back, water test, torture test, see where it fits in the turtle wax line. 24 hours with minute wax. And I gotta say, I think, uh, well, I wanna see the water behavior, but it, I've had multiple thoughts. Uh, spanning from they absolutely nailed it with this product where I think for the price point uh, the market they're trying to reach uh, this is essentially like their entry-level green bottle stuff so I've had every thought from that to man we got spoiled with seal and shine right but then I have my next thought after we got spoiled with seal and shine in the time frame of that the window that that was out and popular but at the same time um, seal and shine was streaky right so Maybe they took, I started thinking about, well, it's called the streak free line. Maybe they took that feedback with seal and shine being streaky and the complaints that a lot of people had with that and streakiness of products just in general, and then created a simple, super simple wax. But then I'm like, oh, the water's not on. Hold. So I'll keep talking as I turn the water. Oh, I got a kink. That's all. Uh, and so I'm like, well, you know, maybe you can't have it all. Maybe you can't have uh, a product that doesn't streak, that's cheap, you know, you can't have everything. So whatever this shows it is, 24 hours on the left here. I guess I could uh, do that because we did spray it over here uh, in the wet fashion. So it does look to me that with an additional cure time, you are gonna get a bit better results. Uh, but yeah, so I've had that dilemma kind of in my brain of like, well, I think the seal and shine moments were nice. Those were great days. I think with the 24 hour cure, you're not getting super round beads, but, uh, you are getting beading nonetheless. And I, as we see on the right side of the panel, uh, about the same, let's blow it off and see. So. That's my current debacle of like, seal and shine was cheap, beaded water, super durable, right? I don't think we've ever seen anything beat that, at least in a torture test. This product is obviously not a seal and shine replacement. This is a totally different market. But So you will see most ideal is that you're going to give it 24 hours to cure. The, 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 uh, the blow off was much better. The water beating was better. So ideally you do rub it in and maybe that's why it's called minute wax is anyway, you rub it in. So super clean, I'm starting to run out of this stuff. Just spray it on and rinse it off. Of course, like we've been doing. For a torture test, this, there's no durability claims. There's none of that. This is just for fun. If you want durability, there are other products like their Flex Wax, um, like their mm, Super Clean doesn't taste good. Uh, turtle Wax has a whole slew of products, Seal and Shine, like we talked about, that are meant for durability. I don't think durability is the claim, or dur I know durability is not the claim on this product. It doesn't say anything about durability. It talks about how quickly you can do it. And I think so. Real quick to gather my thoughts. The two, while this sets up and eats at the product, the two ways that I think are most ideal for this product is one, to prevent water spotting. So if you're, you know, an apartment, you have an apartment, you don't have a good area to wash your car or you gotta go to the coin op um, and you wanna use it to help prevent with water spots. That's gonna be the, you know, one ideal way to use it. The second ideal way to do it is if you wanna just get a really inexpensive spray wax that is gonna give you slickness and gloss and not a ton of durability, but it's gonna be super easy and not gonna streak. I've let that sit on the panel for a long time. Yeah, as I expected it. Well, come on. It's not dead. So interesting. So the 24 hour cure, I mean, they both cured for 24 hours, but the different application methods 
one side is dead, dead. The 24 hour cure side is not dead. So that's kind of interesting too. So um, kind of plays to the give stuff 24 hours to cure. As you can see by the blower test, it's accurate. So to my point, if you do use it in the wet applications, you are not clearly not doing it for durability reasons. You're doing it for other reasons. Let's go to spray nine. Uh, you're doing it for other reasons, which is fine. So you're going to lose the durability. So when you gain something, you lose something else. We're going to do spray nine. So when you are um, doing it to prevent water spotting, and so you're diluting the product down with the water that's on the panel, you're going to lose the durability. If you use it uh, dry, you know, probably the most ideal thing to do would be to use it dry, kind of like the Meguiar's Blue Bottle stuff, use it dry and then um, use it dry for like the first foundational application, wash your car, dry it, use it dry or do the dry application. And then as a maintenance, if you're gonna do it as a maintenance product, um, then you could do it wet or use it as a drying aid or, or to buy yourself some time. So spray nine, still impressive that it made it, not, I, I, not impressive that it made it through, but it's done better than a few of the products that we've had on lately through a torture test. So it'll be interesting to see if it makes it through the spray nine. And I really should get a wet towel going, but it does look like that. I mean, it looks the same. It looks the same on the left side. I'm gonna get a wet towel going. So maybe with that ceramic infusion, again, I mean, my torture test days go back to you know ice spray wax being a cheap, uh, a cheap wax by Turtle Wax that was super durable, but even in the ice spray wax, we didn't see, uh, we saw the hydrophobics go away, but what we didn't see was the product dying. So it, the, you know, like I've said a million times, hydrophobics are one of the first things to go. Um, it's like water sheeting, um, and other different water behavior. So still slightly doing better on the dry application side, but the wet application side isn't flat either. So that's, it's not great, but it's not flat like we saw with the chemical guys. Not a great blow off. Better, not crazy great. Being subjective, what I would like to do is, see when we don't rub it in, it gets a little difficult. So let's uh, switch up to this and this will be the bleach wide. And honestly, after this, well, I wanna show you what, I wanna show you what I would do if this was my car. So we'll do bleach white. Again, we're not rubbing it in because maybe this is a little bit more of a fair go at it but but man were those the good old days steel and shine five bucks at walmart you could go pick it up super durable at least in the torture test right but it did streak black car hot day in the sun steel and shine is definitely going to streak but the way around that if you're still a steel and shine fan is just have a damp towel and do the first pass with the damp towel or sometimes what i would do is just uh Black, that bleach white doesn't taste good either. Uh, I would just dilute the product down a little bit. Again, lose some of the durability, lose some of the hydrophobics, but it would be easier to work with. So let's see this. Uh, 
Oh, that hit it pretty good. That hurt it. So what I'm going to show, I'll hit it with the wet towel, do a test again. But then what I want to show, if your car, say you... Sorry, guys, started to have audio problems right here. But what I wanted to say or what I actually said in the video was... What I wanted to show is if you start losing those hydrophobic properties, what you can do, especially with, um, you know, really any spray wax, but generally, or in this case, this spray wax, as, as you can see, the hydrophobics um, have started to go on that right side, is what you can do is if your car's wet or you wash it and then, you know, you could take the minute wax in this case, or generally any, I found a lot of spray waxes, and you could just spray it right back onto a wet car. So I'm going to take the minute wax here and I'm just going to spray it while the car is wet on this car and kind of use it as a rinse wax as they call it on this one or um, a lot of other brands call it a lot of different things. So I just missed it back on because I want those hydrophobic properties back and watch how simple it is to get those hydrophobic properties back. And that's where we see a lot of times that um, the, hydrophob the hydrophobic properties are the first thing to go. So as you'll see, as I rinse that away, as you would, the hydrophobic properties come back. So that's pretty cool, not only in um, this product, but you could actually do it in a lot of other products as well. So sorry about the audio in this video. Again, I apologize for that. I have fixed it, but I do tend to have audio problems quite often, which is kind of the bummer with video. And then as you could see, when you have the hydrophobic properties back, it blows right off, which is what everyone wants and why they want the water to bead and not sheet. Um, so yeah, so with that guys, hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see, that is just a quick hack and an easy way to uh, get the hydrophobic properties back on the panel. Uh, I was really impressed with this mini wax. I really liked it. Um, and I would definitely highly recommend it, especially for the price point around eight bucks. But man, were we spoiled with seal and shine back in the day. But if you're looking for a quick, easy, uh, cheap way to uh, get some hydrophobics on your car, get some protection on your car, I would highly recommend this Minute Wax by Turtle Wax. You can find it at AutoZone. Thanks for watching. See ya.